Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. We were at the Hotel McDonald and we were killing some time after so we decided to come here. This is the newly built funicular that's just below the Hotel McDonald. Um, if you're interested in the Hotel McDonald video, I'll put it at the end here. It, uh, the funicular was open to the public in 2017 and it's free for use. It was intended to increase access to the River Valley Trail from downtown. It's kind of cool if you've never been on one before, like me. Sideways elevator, I guess. day we were there there was nobody else using it it was pretty quiet I hear it's got a 22 person capacity but given the certain circumstances we've got right now it's I think it's only two maximum this is the promenade that was built at the same time overlooking the North Saskatchewan River that's the back end of the Hotel McDonald, if you're curious. Not, don't know much about this guy. He was one of the major builders of downtown. So this trail is uh, along the North Saskatchewan here, and we're walking east from the funicular there. Yeah, these little guys, they were everywhere around there. Used to call them prairie dogs, but I hear they're now called ground squirrels, which is the right name, I don't know. I like prairie dog myself. This is the Chinese Garden. It's located in the Lois McKinney Riverfront Park, which is below the Shaw Conference Center, and it was created to celebrate Chinese culture in Edmonton. So here is the Rock Garden, or uh, Rock Garden, Rock Lions, yeah, just in front of the main gate there. I think it was done up around 2015, 17, but I thought it was around a lot longer than that. The pavilion. The dragon inside, pretty nice painting. As we were there, it was just starting to clear up and get sunny, so the images got a little better here. This wall represents the Great Wall of China. Really nice, really nice job. This, I believe, is called a Nine Dragon Wall. Nine being a good luck number. Again, a really nice job. Really good. A stone bridge. The video here doesn't do this justice.
and then around the um, stone bridge which we'll see in a second here is the 12 Chinese zodiac figures although I've only shown two here I won't tell you which one mine is because that would give away my age for anybody that's aware of such things so I won't say hope you guys enjoyed that thanks for watching